So hello student, this is the second part of the video that we are working on to uh, find the polar um, velocity and acceleration component on, on polar coordinate system. Um, so let's work and find the acceleration components. Um, uh, so ex we know by definition acceleration A is given by derivative of velocity V. So that is d over dt equals to, we just derived the velocity function, r prime, um, r dot, derivative of r, with multiplied by the unit vector ur, plus r theta dot, multiplied by the direction of, in, in theta direction. So um, if we now expand this derivative, we see, Um, double derivative or r unchanged part u r plus um, unchanged part r derivative and derivative of u r plus for the second part we'll do this part and we'll separate this r so r prime unchanged part theta dot u theta u theta plus r unchanged part this r multiplied by now we're gonna take a derivative of a chain rule derivative on these two so we'll have theta dot double dot unchanged part u theta plus theta dot u theta um, we'll take derivative of that so this one now uh, we know uh, from when we're deriving for velocity we derive the value um, of u r dot so if we plug that value here we will um, get so let's keep this part same we will get um, r dot u r replaced by theta dot u theta um this part remains the same so that part remains same for um this part here um we don't know what would be um u dot theta so um let's um solve the same uh, problem that we solved how to find um u theta dot so let's move to a new page um if we know that um um this is a direction of u r r direction so the perpendicular direction would be u theta direction um with a uh, we'll take a time limit del delta t tends to zero assuming that in that small time new position would be u prime theta and the change would be delta u theta and the angle covered by this is um, delta theta so delta theta this is the angle um, so by definition um, u dot theta which is a vector would be again taking a zooming limit delta time tends to zero that gives us delta u theta which is a vector divided by time now we'll again um, follow the same rule that arc equals to angle covered by the arc multiplied by the radius that gives us uh, u theta delta u theta which is this one um, delta u theta uh, multiplied by u theta which is the radius here u theta 
vector uh, and angle covered by that so delta theta if we consider only um, the magnitude of it so the magnitude of um, delta u theta is 1 so if we only consider the magnitude delta u theta equals to delta theta it's not a vector it's just a magnitude now the direction to make it vector because we are using vector here um, let's see the direction of delta u theta is uh, on left side which is parallel to the direction of u r so we can say the direction of delta u theta is negative u r that gives us the definition here as um, delta dot r theta equals to negative because its direction is opposite u r is in this direction and then delta u theta is this direction so negative limit delta t tends to zero and delta theta because delta u theta equals delta theta and the direction is u r which is vector divided by dt and this is this is the can be uh, written as dot t which is the derivative um, so this gives us um, u theta dot equals to um, negative um, this gives us a negative theta dot u r which is vector so now if we plug this uh, relationship back to our previous slide uh, we'll get this part remains the same plus this one would become um, negative r multiplied by this term so negative r theta dot and from for this part u dot theta we get it from previous slice is that minus negative theta dot u r so multiplied by um, theta dot negative i will already put the negative here so theta dot um, u r which is a vector so now if we simplify uh, we still have the first term which is r double dot u r plus now you see r dot theta dot u theta which is same as the r dot theta dot u theta so we can write two um two r dot theta dot u theta vector plus this term which is this term so r um, theta double dot u theta a vector and then the negative part r theta square theta dot minus multiple by theta dot so theta square and then u r that we have here so now we have um, ur component two of them so if we see we have two ur component and this is the direction and two theta component so if we um, simplify we can write acceleration equals to um, r double dot plus or negative this part r theta dot whole square multiplied by the unit vector u r plus um, twice r dot theta dot um, plus r theta double dot and then the unit vector if we take that common u theta so this is um, our acceleration so we can uh, simply write that as um, 
acceleration a vector can be has a two component uh, tangential component a t with the unit vector in r direction u r plus uh, normal component well theta theta direction component a theta with unit vector in theta direction u theta where um, i'm sorry this will be not tangential um, this is the radial component uh, so it will be r a r so where where a r equals to that we saw in previous slide r double dot meaning double derivative of r negative minus uh, r double uh, first derivative of theta whole square and um, a theta which represents r multiplied by double derivative of theta plus twice r theta first derivative and r um, r dot first derivative of r and theta dot first derivative or theta so this is um, our ex equation for acceleration in polar coordinate where each term means this um, so we'll use this to solve the problem um, before that um, what would be the magnitude which is simple magnitude again um, is the square root of um, the entire thing um, so r double dot which is the ar part minus r theta dot whole square whole square and square root on all on everything plus r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot whole square so this is how we can get the magnitude um, of the acceleration so so these are for the polar coordinates um, and this is how we get um, the acceleration and velocity so now let's see what will happen if we look for um, cylindrical um, coordinates so coordinates so in cylindrical coordinates um, where we assume that uh, the particle moves um, in in vertical direction of our theta plane so for example if I had um, theta and my r direction so this is r direction and this is my theta direction so this is theta um, so if my particle also moves in three dimension so um, we can say this is um, the path uh, of the particle uh, path any path um, so we can define the position of the particle um, by taking projection in each direction so um, at that point we can have um, a u theta so theta angle unit vector and perpendicular to that is the r um, okay let's make it parallel to the ground image so r u r and then the theta direction which is in the same direction so u theta u r uh, and um, perpend vertical to that perpendicular to the plane of u r and u theta so this is the plane uh, the perpendicular that we say uh, another direction u z so it's in z direction so in this scenario to define the position of a particle that is here 
uh, we use R P uh, position um, so this can be defined if I take um, projection so it goes on the R R theta plane R direction this is R and then it goes move upward which is Z so and this is our origin um, so and um, so we have to define the position vector RP with in terms of Z and R Z and R um, so we can write down um, that the RP the vector position um, can be written as the the previous one that we had the um, the magnitude of R multiplied by the unit vector U R plus now we have to add the Z part the vertical displacement part Z and again multiplied by a uh, unit vector direction U Z simple um, for this scenario we have um, the velocity velocity p the position it will remain almost the same as we had previously u r the uh, vector r theta double dot uh, u theta we will have just a new part for the z component z derivative because it's a velocity you take one derivative u z and same uh, we'll have acceleration P. This part will also remain um, the same almost uh, from the polar coordinate all double dot not minus r theta dot whole square u r uh, plus that other term we had r we had r double dot plus um, two r dot theta dot u theta um, which is a vector and the additional term for the z component so acceleration is double derivative of position so double derivative of z this is the way to remember it and also you can have it uh, written on your cheat sheet so acceleration um, of, uh, of, cylind of cylindrical coordinates so in our next um, videos we will solve a um, couple of problems on polar coordinate and we will also sol solve some uh, problem on cylindrical coordinate so I think this concept will be uh, much easier for you to understand so till then um, thank you see you in next video